Hey coders and welcome to episode 6 of our HTML service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about how to get the parameters and hash of the URL of your web application. So this API google.script.url is very similar but a simplified version of the window.location object found in modern client side JavaScript. So basically you have your location or your URL and if you look down below on the slide, you have the protocol, you have the domain, domain.com, you have the path uh, slash home, but then you also have these things called the query string or the parameters, and that comes after the question mark, and then you also have uh, what comes after the hash symbol, you have access to that as well, and that is what this API google.script.url allows access to. You can, you can uh, read the query string or you can read the parameters, and you can read what comes after the hash and that just allows you to have a little bit more functionality in your code. So anyways, the method that we're gonna be looking at today is something called get location. So let's see an example of this in the code right now. I've gone out and built out a separate application for this video, so let's just take a quick look at what it entails. So here it is, it's again, incredibly simple, but let me walk you through what we have so far. We have a login form, and again, it's, it's, it's very simple and not secure at all. Basically, all you have to do is type in your username or your name, and then hit the login button. And then after you hit the login, so let me actually just showcase that. So my username is David, and I'm just going to log in. After we log in, it's going to send that name back into our code and then retrieve some additional data for us and then pass that data back through the URL. So we can see that our name is David indeed and then our favorite color is orange and that was and that all that data was passed back through the URL through the through this query string right here after the question mark. Great. So now that we have this data in the in the URL in the get request what can we do with that data? Well, we can access that data back in our code. And again, we can't just use the window.location object to find this data because again, all of, all, of the, all of the code that we write in an app script project in a web application, it's iframed. So if we use window.location, it would just be getting the location of the iframe and not this top location right here. So the way to get around that, the way that Google Apps Script has uh, provided and suggested to get around that is to use their API, google.script.url. All right, but actually before we get into that, let me just again explain a little bit more of, or let me just uh, go over a little bit more of the HTML. So we have, again, here's our HTML, and then here is our client-side JavaScript. And basically what we're doing again is we are uh, getting the button, so the login button, and we're adding an event listener. Once that has been clicked, we're going to call this function right here, and we're going to get the name of whatever has been inputted, store that in a constant called name, and then here is our incredibly simple, simplified database. All it is is a JSON, uh, or I mean not a JSON, I'm sorry, a, a JavaScript object. And uh, here are the users that have signed up with my application. We have David, we have Courtney, and we have Peter. And we have just basically hard coded this in, but this in, but again, I'm just trying to do this to um, show the point, not make a secure application. Anyway, so we have favorite colors, and then so we have orange, light blue, and red. So after we have the name, we're going to uh, use that name to get the favorite color from the favorite colors uh, object and then redirect to the 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 script service uh, or this the script app script service URL and then tack on these uh, extra bits of data within our query string all right again so that is what is going on right now and then before we continue again here is the CSS just in case you any of you guys were curious um, but anyways, let's go back into the JavaScript, the client-side JavaScript. All right, so we are going to use our uh, API, google.script.url, and the only method that we have on this is get location, and then what that takes in as an argument is a callback function. So again, it's going to get the location, which is right here, 
and then we are going to have access to that through uh, whatever uh, variable that is passed back and we're just going to call it location for now and then we are going to uh, run this function once we have uh, that that location property we're going to run this function so what I want to do just to start off is display whatever is in here in the parameter section right in this green box so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say document dot get ele oops elements by tag name and I am going to pass in h4 because I want to display it right in here. Uh, get the only h4 thing on the or tag on the uh, on the document, and then I'm going to say dot inner text equals. So now we have again this location uh, object right here, and what we're gonna do is we're going to say location dot parameter or param meter. All right, great. So now if we hit save and we hit refresh, we should see that uh, we get object. Uh, okay, so what I'm actually going to do is stringify that so it's not just a object. And I'm going to use this uh, JSON uh, API right here. And don't worry about what I'm doing right now. Basically what I'm just doing is I'm, I'm, I'm making it into a string. So instead of a object, I'm going to make it into a string so that it displays better. Okay, there we go. So we have now this data available to us in an object and we can see that the uh, some of the properties are name and favorite color, exactly what we have up in here. Great, so now we have this, but let's say we want to actually change the the interface or the display that we have for the user based on how they are logged in. So if they're logged in as David, we want to say hello David. And if they and if they have the favorite color as orange, we want to have the background uh, be orange. Well, that's incredibly simple to do. Uh, let's just do that right now. So again, we're going to say document dot, uh, let's say get element by ID. And let's see here, we have uh, ID of name. So we're going to say ID name. And then we're going to say dot inner text again. And let's display that as, uh, we're going to just put a comma after the hello. And then we are going to put in our location dot parameter dot name. All right, so that will cover this right here, but let's also change the background color. So to do that, we'll say document dot body dot style dot background color, and we're going to set that equal to the location dot parameter dot um, dot fave color. All right, so I think this is going to be really cool. Let's just try it out right now. So again, we are logged in as uh, David. Actually, let me just get rid of this for now. All right, so it says hello, undefined, but that's all right. If we log in as, say, David, then now it says hello, David, and the background has changed to orange. So that's pretty cool. Now let's try logging in as someone like Courtney. We hit, we hit log in, and then it says hello, Courtney, and again, this user face or this uh, user interface has been completely customized now based on whatever is being uh, sent through this URL right here in the query string. Let's just try Peter real quick and we'll hit login. And there we go. Now we have Peter's UI just as he likes it, which is a red background and it says, hello, Peter. All right, great, so before we close this video out, let me just again show you what uh, the hash would look like. So let me um, let me say, instead of saying location.hash, this is just another thing that you can, another piece of data that you can access. From the location object, you can only access parameter, hash, and then also parameters if you have multiple, um, say if you have multiple favorite colors, you can, you can, you can access the parameters um, object right there, but 
All we're gonna do is uh, parameter and hash. So anyways, let's save this. And if we add now a hash to this URL, say um, uh, banana, then we are going to refresh the page and then here we go. And here is our hash that has just been recorded based on this location property right here, location.hash and then we get that right here. So again, this is just extra data that you can pass through the uh, URL, and now it is after this um, pound sign or this hashtag sign right here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about the Google script.url. This can be a very powerful API that you can use in your own projects. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the very next episode.